everybody. My name is Lou Minster. I'm the VP of Product Development at HomeSnap. And so I'm going to break out my presentation today into two parts. Um, the first part, I'm going to tell you a little bit about HomeSnap, and I'm going to give you a quick demo of some unreleased software. And then in the second half, we're going to try to do something fun and go through top five insights that I learned while building HomeSnap uh, from a product that literally was nothing into a product now that's used by several, several million people each and every month, which is really cool. So HomeSnap, we're a startup, a real estate startup. We're located in Washington, D.C., and we make this app that does something pretty cool. You can just take a photograph of any house in the country to find out all about it and we serve us a lot of cool information, and I'm going to show you what that looks like in a second. But first, I want to help answer the question that I'm guessing is on the tip of your tongue, which is, how does it work? So I'll tell you that the real wizard behind the curtain is this custom real estate database that we built over the past few years. And so we pull in literally hundreds of disparate data sources from MLS records to county tax records, census data, public school records, school attendances, geographic hierarchies, property polygons, it's a very long list. It's a big job uh, populating and updating that database. But the technology that creates that aha moment is the mobile sensors in your phone. And so you may not realize it, but in your pocket right now, you're probably toting around a camera, GPS, gyroscope, an accelerometer, a magnetometer, if you have a, a Samsung Galaxy S3, you probably have a barometer in your pocket, too. And so if you can picture that moment you go to take the snap, you hold the phone up, and our geospatial algorithms have been tracking where you are, what direction you're facing, how the phone is articulated in your hand, and movement through 3D space. And so the moment you go to take that picture, that's how we figure out you know, which property out of the 90 million in the United States uh, is in your viewport. Sorry about that. Uh... All right, now I'm going to flip over and give you a quick demo. This is uh, version 2.2 yet. It hasn't hit the App Store yet, but the app is live in the App Store and Google Play. So I hope you'll download it and check it out. And I picked this house because it has a round bed, which I thought was pretty cool, uh, which I suppose you'd expect in a two bed, two and a half bath, $9.7 million home. Uh, so I just snapped it. This house happens to be for sale, so I can see interior pictures. Um, I could leave a comment. I could recommend it to a friend. There's an infographic here that shows me how long it's been listed, price changes. I have the agent's comments, the basic facts about the house. I see the property history. Um, I noticed in 2000, it sold for $2.4 million. Probably had a square bed back then. I can turn on email lists, more property details local schools, and not just the schools that are nearby, but the actual school the child who lived here would attend. Uh, similar listings, recent sales, and then here is the exact property polygon. And if I zoom out here, you'll see it's right on the strand beachfront, um, and then beach in front of the eyeball boards, which is pretty cool. Location, location, location. So what we're trying to do here is build a big consumer brand and uh, use that to drive a thriving marketplace. And so uh, right now, the tip of our sphere is this like awesome mobile experience for users, people who download, use HomeSnap, or visit homesnap.com. Uh, we're a real estate broker, and so we're able to earn referral fees from successful transactions. So when people buy houses, that's when we earn revenue. Um, and in the future, look for us to roll out a whole suite of premium features for agents. This is something that I'm pretty excited about. All right, so I'm going to switch gears here and try to do something fun, just roll through this top five list, like five cool things that I kind of picked up while building Home Snap over the past four years. I want to share them with you. The first one is mobile changes everything. Uh, in my mind, this has moved from being a prediction to being a fact. And so when you're building you know, products and services and businesses, you have to use uh, a mobile future as your reference frame. And if you haven't checked out Mary Meeker's Internet Trends deck, Download that, it's really cool. Uh, number four, make something people want. This is the Y Combinator motto, and the best way that I've found to make sure you're making what people want is to have a direct connection with your customers. Uh, you have to make the feedback loop as small as possible between uh, building something and hearing the feedback from people, so you can keep iterating. Um, and I'll say that, you know, in our current, you know, pivot-happy world, I 
think that really good ideas are underway. So if you have uh, the time and energy to think through a good one, it's worth it. And then when you actually get down to building that product, uh, be really wary of any work that isn't like building product or getting customers, because those are the two things I think really matter. Number three, uh, it's easier to sell painkillers than vitamins. And what I mean by that is people are already searching for solutions to problems that they face every day. So if you can build a product that addresses their pain, they're going to find you. And the result of that is it makes it way, way, way easier to get new customers. And that's key because it helps you grow, and growth solves nearly all problems. So keep pain in mind as you kind of build out products and features. Uh, number two, uh, break your routine to harness serendipity. Now, I personally define serendipity as the ability to um, nurture a chance occurrence and turn that into a pr productive gain. And so um, a chance occurrence can be anything. It could be like meeting somebody new, coming to a tech breakfast, a desire, or something like that. So the real key in my mind is to like create more chance occurrences, so that way you have like higher odds to do something that's really productive. And uh, a couple of quick examples. So Steve Case is one of the investors in HomeSnap Revolution Ventures. And I don't think that I would have met him in a cowboy bar in uh, Texas. And I don't think he would have invested in HomeSnap if last year we hadn't decided to rent an RV and go to Austin and just hit every pitch contest we could until we actually won one You know, I met him. And on a similar note, I don't think I'd be here today if I hadn't met Ron just a couple months ago at uh, Cupid's Cup at University of Maryland. So I know it's tough to kind of break your routine and get out of your desk and do something new, but in my experience, it's like the best way to, to foster chance occurrences. And finally, vision without execution is hallucination. This is a great Thomas Edison quote. Um, you really just have to put your head down and work hard. You can't try to do too many things at once. Um, you have to care a lot about product quality. I'll tell you that you're way, way more likely to die because you executed badly than because a competitor came along and crushed you. And uh, I'll tell you, with my team as well at HomeSnap, we have a, really just a thin stack of productivity tools that we use to execute. Uh, we use GitHub for code management. We use Dropbox to share design assets. We use Sprintly for project management and we use Basecamp for wikis, business knowledge, and uh, working with third parties. So that's my top five. Thanks for humoring me. Uh, before I kind of turn to every questions, I have a quick favor to ask, which is if everyone would reach in their pockets, pull out their iPhone or Android phone, download HomeSnap, and then go back into the App Store or Google Play and rate it five stars. It would be <laughs> Very, very grateful, and I'll tell you that positive reviews feed directly into uh, the App Store search results, and so keeping your reviews up is an important part of App Store optimization. And so if you hook me up with a five-star rating, you'd be doing HomeSnap a great service. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, so questions on anything you've heard. And I have to say, by the way, kudos on having an ask. Because one of those things in the presentations people present and they don't always ask for something. And today you remember to do that, which is good. You have it linked to MLS SQL system. Yeah, we do. So we have a live fire hose feed from over 40 MLS databases. We're in the mix of adding about 15 more right now. We have about 50, 60 percent nationwide coverage. I think we'll get that up at over 80% by the end of the year. Other questions? Yes, okay, here. I'll get the work out. Working off my bagels, this is good. Thank you. Who developed your ad? Uh, I did. We have a small team. Um, we have seven developers, that includes myself. And so we have a, a back end guy, a data scientist, um, two developers on the iPhone side, one on the Android side. Somebody who does C sharp in the back end and we kind of juggle the design, uh, user experience, responsibilities among each other. And it's not just one app, it's actually five apps. We have seven people maintaining five platforms now between iPhone, iPad, Android, web, and mobile web, which is a lot. Now, Lou, if I recall, were there, were there two companies? I know there was like, there was a company, another company, and there was a merger or something happened there? Uh, nope. Oh. 
Just us. Were you, were you into um, app development or, or technology before you got with the real estate people? Uh, my personal history, I started uh, as a programmer for IBM. I worked at AOL for five years. Um, I joined HomeSnap when it was called Salva, and it was just a real estate website. We, we did rebrand. Yeah, that's what you're thinking of. Um, and so we were in the website building business, uh, focused on SEO, uh, building the best real estate website we possibly could until it became apparent that the world was going to mobile. And that's when we went to the Apple store and picked up you know, four iMacs and a bunch of iPhones and said, we're going to learn how to do mobile programming. And that was about three years ago. Um, that resulted in HomeSnap being built you know, in stealth mode. We launched it. It became way more popular than our Solbach website ever was. So we rebranded the whole company and changed our focus. Do you still have any web presses? We do. HomeSnap.com. It's actually. Uh, Pretty big real estate portal. Uh, you can just search by address there, do a typical map search. Is there a handshake with the mobile? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, same, same integrated system. You one login for everything. You can save your searches, see your previously viewed homes, favorites. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, is your other way to monetize is for referral fees, or do you have other ways to make money? So, referral fees is our primary monetization right now. So, the typical use case is someone will snap a home. It'll be for sale. There's a call to action to schedule showing. Um, they'll schedule showing, contact us, we'll refer them to a great real estate agent that we already have a relationship with. Um, they'll go off, shop for a home. If and when they buy, that's when we'll earn our referral fee. And now, um, now that we've built a marketplace that's you know, vibrant and has you know, millions of people using every month, uh, we're going to start focusing on the rock stars of the real estate world, which is who are real estate agents. <laughs> So right now we're focused on building a suite of premium features to help them uh, do their job better, um, earn more referrals, earn more business, and uh, sell more homes. All right. Good, good job. Good job. Thank you.